here we are. Hello. Here we are. Into the breach. Four orphans. One tower. And really the only equipment I'm left looking for is the possibility of more ribbon. So I, may I believe be... that is correct. I may be doing something silly as we're here. Oh? I may be running through the entire Crystal Tower series <laughs> in 14 at the same time. Ah, good. The Makes thematic sense. approach. Uh-huh. Powerful play. Let's see. Do you want me to just, like, navigate you through? Because there's a lot of treasure, and a lot of it is not good. Now, where would be the adventure in that? I will get a sense of how the tower wants to behave. Block. Yeah, at the very least, we should, like, get a representative feel for it. Oh, gosh. Summoning monsters. Mm-hmm. Oh, I have no idea what the thing they summoned is. It's other Dorga. than you remember it's, Dorga. It's, it's Dorga's clone. Ah, uh, yes. It's just spare Dorgas doing Dorga things. Let me guess. That's a plot point in Final Fantasy XIV too. Oh yeah, Dorga's clones are there. Are you for fucking <laughs> real? <laughs> Plot point, no. Creature in an encounter, yes. Yes, there okay. is an encounter that has Dorga clones, All right. yes. Alright, that I will accept. If it were a plot point, I might have gotten very cross. I mean, if we weren't willing to look around, we'd be missing out on free barriers. Interesting. Something oh. here refuses to be cut. Hmm. What does the scent of white smell like? Holy, I think? Either nothing or everything. That's true. Depending on whether you uh, ascribe to the additive or subtractive theory of scent. Or maybe it's just how, like, ambient scents work versus perfumes, or what have you. Assuming it's the same way as, like, light versus pigment. Odor has the properties of both particle and wave. <laughs> Very good. Oh, hey, it's, it's Medusa. I guess that makes sense. You're finally ready to fight her at this level. Ah, uh, yes. yes. One day, we will encounter Salamander round two. Medusa, who can be petrified. I'm pretty sure we did encounter Salamander round two already. Actually, yeah, it was in the, uh, it was in the cave to whatchamacallit. There have been a couple of, uh, Salamander recolors. Mm-hmm.
collecting everything on the main floor is just it's, it's an excuse to get warmed up yeah and frankly the consumable items are actually decent whether you'll you know actually deign to use them is another question again i suppose but uh, that's up to you i think These, of course, are not gins, but devils. Yes. Entirely different from gins. And also definitely not ifrites. Mm-hmm. Who would mistake one for the other? Only a fool. surgical bonk. Wow. Actual barriers. Okay. <laughs> I must have missed that bit the first time. That looks like the main floor cleared out. Yes. Apparently Dora clones are very resistant to Earth, or whatever physical damage that is.
and it begins. New enemies. Oh dear, new enemies. Yes. Yeah, these look like ghost Pokemon. Oh, Kum Kum! Okay, yeah. Yeah, these are one of the ads in. Uh, the in um, I'm on, yeah. Those spelled with a K instead of a Q. I wonder if Dildar 2 will drop a bunch of money. A bit. That wasn't no money. Dead. animation for the kill spell. No. <laughs> the move. To answer chat, basically no, everyone goes with this party. You definitely can do it without, but you're giving up a lot of power. Perfect. Easy every time. It really does seem like the wizards are the only thing the sword's gonna kill you. Agreed.
Welcome back. Ah, accidentally unmuted, huh? Oops. Ununmuted, excuse me. That was general. This water is not potable. Far too many m dissolved minerals in it for it to be particularly drinkable. You're a liar. You just drink it. That's, you know, as if our, you know, the city we've lived in hasn't proved that you can just do that. You can, but, like, do you want to drink water that's been sitting around in Crystal Tower for who knows how long? Just bite into it. I would. Love that chalk. I feel like I've lived in places with worse tap water than stagnant Crystal Tower water, probably. I mean, heck, it could have, like, good stuff in it. Oh! I... So, we did, uh, roulette, and we just perfectly came into Labyrinth the Ancients to start. Good. Gotta race us to endgame. Uh, I... I don't think that would be fair. That's... It's that's too fast. Fair. Final Fantasy fourteen is too fast. That's... that's reasonable. Crystal Tower contains the only water, which is rich in all four elements. Most places you ask for water, they're only going to give you water. You're missing out. I mean, fire water is a known quantity, that being whiskey, of course. What do you suppose earth water and air water are? Earth water is scotch. Is that how that works? Have you drank scotch? No. <laughs> it's peat. I mean, peat is... Look. Vinay. You want to get me started on Swamp, then. <laughs> right, right, exactly. I'm surprised you haven't drank scotch. No, I don't drink. I know, but... As someone in the peat cultural scene, I figure you would know about it. <laughs> well, apparently those words are just said out loud. I mean, liter- uh, I- that was an unintentional pun, by the way. And this week it is you who are peeking their mic. Sorry. He's up. Turning down the game. Alternatively, I will pull a pop filter out. All right, let's see the might that D generals can bust out. They don't seem to have a lot of might, even at their best. Yeah. One can hope, though. Other monsters have shown them some little stabs and tricks. Even Platinol can er, er, petrify. 
I feel like the generals would have been very scary if we had walked in here without going to Eureka. Yeah, that might be the case. They may also just be the ones what punish you for trying to run, which at this point they're gonna hit the damage cap very easily. That's fair, they are fast enough to really make you hurt if you try to run. Now this, this is a scary encounter. Yeah, this is scary. Dangerous. All over the Apply place. white scent to the problem. I'm, I'm gonna keep advocating for it until it happens, I just wanna see. Combat items are here to be used. Yeah, they are! Unleash the paralyzer. Deploy the imps yawn. What can we do with these things? Who knows? I'm just reminded of how in, say, Pokemon, people, a lot of people don't use the X items. Wow. And I'm just like, why? Note to self. Kumkum's resistant to magic. Not that magic, apparently. Nothing resists dirt. Titan is a powerful muscle wizard. It's true. I guess it does make sense for Earth to go fairly unresistant if your only Earth spell is just punching them. Another Eldest Staff. Makes sense. The two eldest stabs were created simultaneously. But which one is more elder? I guess I would sub it in over the golem staff. It's not doing much. Five intellect, five spirit. You know, given these enemies' palettes, I think it would be a really great touch if they weren't here, if you didn't do Eureka. <laughs> Since these are obviously uh, ninjas that have escaped Eureka containment. They just followed you out. Yep! We forgot to lock the door behind us. Which I guess makes sense, because the Eureka key gets consumed when you use it, doesn't it? It does. Well, there you have it. Though you'd think if they saw what we did in there, they'd be inclined to leave us alone. I mean, I, I would have suspected that they'd just, you know, follow us out and then go their own merry way and do their private ninja things rather than trying to gank us later. I mean, we did do them a solid. Well, this is bad. These things have been a lot worse.
revive with two health. Crisis averted, I guess. What, what crisis? Everything's fine. Regular days at Crystal Tower. Unstable equilibrium is just how Crystal Tower does. And the thought occurs that we could probably be using those instead of casting life. No, one level 5 spell charge is a much smaller expense than a Phoenix Down. I suppose that's fair. True. Since it does give ninjas access to that. Which is important if both casters happen to go down. Mm-hmm. Plus, every elixir is like an extra 50 lives or whatever. Yep. Gashira. Oh, check out these guys. Titan Garatra. Or was Titan a different sprite? Titan was a different sprite. Yeah, Titan is Cape and Sword. Yeah, I think no. Titan was the, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh gosh, um, Acheron sprite. Yeah, for... Fair, this would have been a lot more appropriate, I feel like. That's actually true, yeah. I'm not sure why they didn't. Also, they did not have a look set up for Titan yet. Welcome, newbie. Oh. But that's what th th the answer is. That's I mean, this, the same conversation came up last week, but yeah. People were like, well, this looks more like Titan. I'm like, Titan did not have a look yet. And this was the first Titan, as far as I know. Like the game is signaling to us that we can use our elixirs. I mean, what else are you gonna use them on? Can't use them when you're dead. Or done. Oh. That's what I meant, right? Mm. That's that's what death is in a game, right? You're not playing it anymore. I guess that's fair. Whoa. 
Is it just me or does the sage's hat have the big down pointing arrow that Aang has on his forehead and avatar? I guess? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't think they really... Like... I guess I could look up to see if they've reused the design. I don't think they did, but hey, we can check. Also, wait, Titan is in this game. He's right there. Yeah. He looks like that. He looks uh -huh. like that. This is, just like the, this is just a situation again of here's Titan and here's Titan. Titan. Yeah, you know? and the, the kanji is t t pronounced differently. The anti AUG uh, Federation Army Group. The Titans. Sorry, I mean, uh, whatchamacallit? Anti Zeon. What am I saying? Aha, uh -huh. they did redraw it once for Dissidia, and it's more of a weird pattern kind of look. Fair enough. As yes, anytime it shows up as a reference to three in Record Keeper, they just they use the three sprite. Yes. Crunch. Um, oh, dang it. Taking a bite of that crystal water? Obviously. A cool water. Snapping into a slim gem. Snap off a hydracious chunk of crystal water. Okay, I'll ask it. What's the difference between a ninja and a shinobi? Is the shinobi like a... One's on our side. Also, I think shinobi is the original term for it, and ninja is like a neologism of some kind. Correct. Thank you for completing that. I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. You completed the thought. It worked. Is this the tower? Yes. And this is the tower. Just normal tower structure. Tower, which I think in the original didn't actually have any bosses, except for the one at the end. There are bosses in the remake? No, but they are in 14. Cool. This is where they shoved a lot of the bosses from uh, Eureka.
good fight? Is that how it's been the whole time? Yeah, basically. Only the wizards are really, like, any sort of threat at this point. Yeah, it's either that or getting absolutely obliterated, or threatening to, at least, by these guys. Fortunately, big do? wizard for Joe. Uh, oh, this! <laughs> I'm so glad you asked, Crumb. I'm really glad I'm here to ask these tough questions. I wonder if there's a way to determine a mathematical value for dead, considering your HP is zero out of dead. I'm not sure dead can have mathematical operations applied to it. Or be an operand in mathematical operations, I guess, since you're dividing by dead here. I mean, you'd say the same thing about not a number, and yet many languages have some sort of definition for it. I mean, all of the letters are early enough in the alphabet that it could be hex. I guess that's fair. It was a dumb post I saw the other day about, about how bullshit Roman numerals are because they had no way to represent zero. Um... I mean, zero is a relatively recent innovation, isn't it? Yes, yes. The Roman numerals predate zero, yes. Yeah, I know. I, it's yeah. an example of I, a I, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just internally in my brain. Can't believe the Romans, didn't, the Romans didn't come up with a concept of nothing. The real problem with the Romans is that they could te never tell you, sorry, we don't have any. The fall of the Roman Empire, caused exclusively by overly helpful customer service. Placeholders as a concept was also very difficult to determine. Really? Like, chronologically, or just in general? Like... Various places discovered it independently and then right. stopped using it before we actually came up with zero as a number on its own. Ah. Coming from Final Fantasy 1 to this, being able to have 51 level 1 spell slots is just... It's crazy. <laughs> the luxury experience of Sage. What do you mean you can cast Cure 51 times? You can cast Holy 11 times? What? I believe the Sage's response would be, what do you mean you can't cast Cure 51 times? What kind of Bush League magic do you know? We're also up to like 18 elixirs, so we're getting close to a thousand cures. Oh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Elixirs! Use them! They're plentiful. But I need them all for the final boss. You don't. You may need them for the run-up to the final boss, or you may not. We will determine this experimentally. This is... this is knowledge that I definitely do remember correctly. But we will see. A thousand uses of cure. Oh. Well, you don't have to kill anyone. 
Well, enough to kill any bones. Well, if Anyone. you don't enough, it'll over Eno overflow. Yeah, you yeah. know, Eno too much of a good thing is bad, you say. Yeah, excessive application of cure causes cancer. Look what happened to the final boss of uh, Mystic Quest. Look, you. Do look at the final boss of Mystic Quest. What do you mean, too much light? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. 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 I'm going to assume these are death. Gen no, sorry, death generals, not death knights. Never mind. More like dead generals. Better a dead general than a dead president, right? Mm. I I kind of expected you to go for the other one, but fair enough. Also, also yes, Vinay. Uh, it is. I'm already on to Circus Tower in my run through of the three of them one more time, so it would not be fair to try and do a speedrun comparison. That's fair. Also, I was foolish and died to Phlegaton because Red Mage Burst Phase. There's treasure in here? There is treasure in here. Yes, it's the final dungeon. It's, it's mm -hmm. the final dungeon treasure. As is the want of final dungeons. It's all trapped. This isn't Final Fantasy. Well, I don't even remember. I, d I wasn't there for Final Fantasy II's endgame, so I don't know if all this treasure was trapped. One can hope, but I don't think so. I think enough of it probably was. So we have booby traps in the early games. When did we get the first mimics? Demon wall, I guess? Or whatchamacallit, evil lore. Shortly before demon wall. That's really the first mimic I can think of, right? In Final Fantasy. The well, doors. doesn't really have mimics. That's that's why I said the evil doors, doors and and uh, what you call it. Um. Evil War. Demon Wall. Are both monsters mimicking architectural features? And then I guess there's the uh, Mimic save point in FF12 and a couple of similar creatures. Hmm. What Just is this biggest deus? <laughs> it isn't for anything, it's just there. You know, just in case somebody wants to speak or uh, hold an this is impromptu the performance. Floor. That's where you park your boats to show them off. Mm hmm. It's the display pedestal. Mm hmm. have so much money. I think I have seen some fights here drop like 10,000 money. I guess so if you happen to need to leave and come back you're at least given something from the ordeal. Yeah. Also it looks like somebody uh, used the display pedestals on this floor. Oh excellent Phoenix down. Nice. Wait, how do those work in FF14? How does what work? Phoenix, Phoenix Downs? Down. Yeah. Um, they don't? You can you can use them on... <laughs> no, Bloon's got it the best. All right. No, yeah, they... it's honestly. A joke. They don't. All right. All right. They were briefly extremely useful in Deep Dungeons and Eureka. Yeah. Wait, what made them not be useful in the, those anymore? Uh, they're just... No longer. I guess they're still useful in deep dungeons, theoretically, but... Uh... Yeah. For Eureka, the answer is... Red Mage. Yeah. I mean, Varese is absurd. Well, also, just enough people are rolling around to full elemental gear. And... You can uh, upgrade to the plus two elemental from the Baldesian drops and start soloing dragons. It's good times. Red Mage is just silly, though. Oh, what's that? Do you want an instant cast raise? <laughs> sure. 
That's yeah, okay, but Roxy showed me the Red Mage flowchart, and it looks like somebody just did their best John fucking Madden impression. That's only if you're trying to really optimize it. Okay, well, never mind then. <laughs> also, low-level Red Mage is pretty simple. It's, you know, you, you just try and get your mana up to 80 and then go into burst phase. Mm. Pretty simple. I mean... Uh... I'm probably not playing optimally, but I found higher level red mage is very is somewhat similar. It's just that there is the gimmick of making sure one of your mana is, is higher than the other one. That way, you get the the biggie. I could spend literally the entire stream talking about how red mage just doesn't work and has to be forced to work in savage and ultimate stuff. Do people still bring it along anyway because combat heal? Or combat res, excuse me. Yeah, the combat res is just too much to... Even if you don't have enough damage to finish, you get to see more in prog. That's fair. I mean, it sounds useful. Admittedly, kind of a brute force flavor of useful, which is not really something I assumed I'd associate with Red Mage. They also just have some of the best mobility and like consistency in their damage. So if I wanted to, I could drop out these Genji in exchange for more crystal. Mm -hmm. Crystal is slightly better, correct? Slightly more raw defense. Also, Vinay. Yes. How much of FF5 have you seen? Uh, I mean, I, I beat the game on a Fiesta run. Does that count? All right. And you're saying that Red Mage being brute forced into being useful is weird. Okay, no, 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 there, there's a difference. Red Mage being useful for brute forcing things is weird. Red Mage being brute forced into being useful, I can believe. But, like, if combat res is being used, as Roxy suggested, as a way of seeing more content, even if you don't actually have the mechanics, hmm. Um... Hmm. I'm sorry, my train of thought was just derailed by a dragon. <laughs> Hold that thought. A, the, a dragon appeared. Oh, shit, right. Now I remember the bosses of Crystal Tower. Hmm. <laughs> Here they are! The, mm. Oh, the, yellow, the mm. yellow dragon and the green mm. dragon and the red dragon? Yes. Mm. Sure, I'm fighting one right now. It's mm. great. And uh, Dogo's clone. Mm. Oh, that's it's the four or dragons. five dragons. This all seems fun. Demon dragons. Nice. Hmm. Who the hell are... Oh, this is terrifying. Who is... Oh, look Look at the way that the uh, wings change color. Shit! Piss! Yes! Piss! I mean, in fairness. Warrior of Light, 1991. Yes! <laughs> you know what? We make fun of old translations, throwing in swears out of nowhere. It's actually feel, fine and hilarious every time. I feel like this is one of those instances where I'm like, Aren't you dead, Dorga? It's and fine. why he would he it. let that stop him? Also, I guess that's reasonable. Also, he's got so many clones around, I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> so what you're telling me is that Dorga is heroic Doctor Doom. Mm, yeah, or another character you'll meet at some point. Fair enough. Oh no. Well, of I course, was hoping Sid, that yeah. Sid's wife and not Sid would be... That, that would have been excellent. I I'm looking for Sid. He's dead. Alright, fine. You'll work. Let's go. You'll do. He taught you about engineering, right? Good. What? Great. Hmm, Dash is fucking dead. Uh, well. Oh well. It's fine. Dash is not fucking dead. Dash had work to do. <laughs> Tesh hurt his back, but he still got a job to do. Mm -hmm. He has work in the morning, as it were. So he's Are you kidding the last, me? Like, he's been down in the reactor, in working. Yes! He was fixing the Tower of Owen. Is there a problem? Does he just not eat, need to eat? No, of course not. Why would they need to? Why would they put such a frail individual I hope in you, charge of? I, I hope you're going to enjoy having to sit through this cutscene if you die in the world of darkness. They said there is that. five parts of light. This is my math is. Well, hold on a second. No, no, no. 
They're 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 they're, they're drawing lots. We have sent old man to serve as a heart of light. I give him about 12 seconds against this demon dragon. Well, goodbye. <laughs> Bye, Dagrins. Good luck, all y'all. Oh, are we just in it now? Hold up. All right, there he is. Welcome. I'm pretty sure. I think the remake moves the Zand fight to outside of the mirror. I think you might be right. Yeah, it makes more sense. I think. Get ready. Perish. Also, you know, it's just the guy whose fault all this is, and apparently he's opted for the muscle wizard route himself. Look is at he a this Dracula? guy. Dracula. He looks like a Dracula. He looks like a Dracula He's got that big turn. Dracula energy. Y'all, before we get through this, what is Zant's opening move? Nice. Excuse me? Nice. My data. <laughs> ah, I found it, the weakness. It's a hole. Did they preserve that in 14? No. Okay. I wish they did. <laughs> Ainolan. There's Bahamut doing Bahamut. Oh, Mega Flare. Well, we did summon Bahamut. It had better do something. That's a lot more damage than I was expecting. Unleash the power. Crack open a cold Bahamut. Mm-hmm. Don't uh, worry, he was just powering up. Rude. Call the meteors. Welcome to Zonde. He's an HP check. Oh boy! <laughs> Here we go. It might be time to bust out the life twos if we got them. Yes. Do they work in combat? I believe so. This ain't no FF1. Your stuff works. Sorry. But yes, Zonde's opening move. All right, let me get a read on you and rocks. Dead. Which tool? Which of my many wizards' tools do I use to solve this problem? Right, <laughs> the big one. <laughs> it's a powerful play, I have to admit. It has a refreshing directness to it. They tell you that Zonde only got more. T Zonde learned magic afterwards with his mortality. And also has the the distinction of being the only boss in the game that uh, if you bring a full party of dragoons in, you can completely lock out of ever taking an action. Nice. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? He will scan well, because... and then. Uh huh. Yeah. Wow. This seems like a job for chain casting, big cure. If he lets you. That's true, he might just resolve Meteor before we do anything. We could have a problem on our hands. It's fine. If I had made that a safe instead of a haste, I would be in a better position right now. It's fine. See, yeah, anybody who's played 14 and fought Zonda is probably getting some recognition for his moves of, oh, right, yeah, he did that. What? Oh, right, yes. <laughs> Uh, we yeah. also desire the power. <laughs> Damn it! Although, I was, he's, really, he's just an HP check. Yes. I was just a couple seconds too late in getting <laughs> into the Zonde fight. Dang! Zonde doesn't have a lot of HP. He is just there to cast Meteor in your party and go, Alright, can you live Particle Wave? Hmm. All right, so it's time. This Hello. dark cloud is this escape from it or just die to it? Die. Yeah, die. this is not the real dark cloud fight yet. This is this... the introduction to dark cloud since Zande is dead. This yes. dark cloud has completely maxed out values for defense and evasion. Beans. By the way, get, get used to that. Dark cloud with dark cloud signature move of dark cloud. It is possible to beat if you. 
stack if you just max out someone's stats with safe and haste or heavy onion equipment, but mm -hmm. you then, uh... your reward is victoring into this exact scenario. Do adore Dark Cloud's theme. Yeah, Dark Cloud's theme is real good. Beam into beam. I'm guessing beam. Flare Wave is Particle Beam in the remake. Yes. Yes. I don't know, Crumb, if you were here, but I actually finally sat down and went through the uh, the entire uh, Soul Break list for Dark Cloud and uh, the number of them that are, in fact, Particle Beam. But a different way. It's like All right. 80%. Alright, chat. I want you to speculate on how these five won their fight against their respective demon dragon. Uh, we were d f f annihilated by the final boss, but then five heroes who we know from earlier in the adventure all got together and pull you back out of the pit and send you on your way for the real final battle. I'm missing something important here, aren't this I? This sounds very familiar somehow. Hey, hmm. Vinay, what other game with a job system exists? Oh, right. My bad. Never Some mind. Some sort of brave dawn has arrived uh -huh. to us. <laughs> What about if all of our previous party members or friends were praying for us in some sort of giant tower mm. in a land of magic? Pray return. This would be... It would take a lot of wishing. In. This would be pretty phoned in and lazy if we were to Wait, go on, fight dialogue. the final boss right away. Did the music just go The out? music fell asleep. It did. Okay. I wanted to make sure I wasn't losing my mind. The music opted out. We have been restored to full charges. Just in case you blew all your ammo fighting Zande. Okay, bye. Farewell. And now the best music in the game, I think. Dark World. Heck and yeah. So, yeah. so now the layout is if I just go up here, that's directly into cloud, and these other four are the paths to do the thing. Yeah. yeah. Yes. You can go directly into cloud, but it she will me. still have maxed out evasion defense. Yeah, just do the it, thing instead. Yes. Is... Ah, yeah. yes, Kage. More ninja. <laughs> we have to go do a side quest in the final dungeon in order to make yes. the final boss vulnerable. Beyond the point of no return. It's the Shinobi of Darkness. Did we get the jump on them? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm like, why aren't they doing anything? They're following the Zan to school of fighting. Observe for a round. <laughs> and then attempt to utterly destroy your opponent. Strategize. Hey! For, in, in Sunday's defense, he got real fucking close. Oh, he did. I'm not. I'm not knocking the strategy. It was a good plan. I'm just saying. He spent a turn charging and then knocked half of like killed one of Loon's team, knocked other ones hair's breadth away from death. Mm -hmm. Almost got there. I would have killed him, except they went to Eureka and cheated. Mm, jerks. Got like two extra levels. This Genius. music is pretty cool. Spoilers, that's another reason that Eureka exists, is it's there for you to get levels to survive Zande. <laughs> mm-hmm. I like, in theory, the end game of three. Its main problem is, yeah, there's no checkpoints. Oh, look, it's Garm. Here's Garms. Two of them. <laughs> if they just had a checkpoint after Zond. Yeah. Or immediately yes. before Zond. Yeah, I, w I would much prefer it have been there rather than between uh, Labyrinth of Ancients and the Crystal Tower. Or there could just have been two checkpoints. Yeah, that's true. What if we broke this 
you know, one huge dungeon into three. Four. Sort of. Take the world of darkness and give it a tiny world map. So give you I an airship. In the uh, chat there, what the uh, Amano Art of Zond is. Yeah, we, oh, I've never actually looked at this. Let me peep this real quick. Oh, yes! Yes! It's perfect. Yeah, that seems about right. The fuck is going on with your back? Don't worry about it. He's a JoJo character. <laughs> Don't worry about it. He's mortal. <laughs> I love that that's Zande's defining feature. What's your big thing? I'm mortal. Okay. Get in line. <laughs> this is absolutely dark stabbing. Yeah. Uh, one of the first things that 14 uh, Zande does, which I feel is pretty good just finding the way he looks is he does in fact punch the ground and just yeah. calls a shockwave actual muscle lizard apparently yeah but the uh the two attacks we saw in Loon's attempt I don't actually know what Elzonde can do uh are the two things in 14 that can one-shot you. As I guess is only right and proper. He has a, a small, like, DPS check, uh, which is Meteor Fall, mm -hmm. which has a bunch of things that show up around the arena that you have to destroy or else Starfall occurs and you die. Rockfall, everybody dies. Exactly. Um, and then the other one is he will do a bunch of AoEs on people. And once those AoEs go off, they cause a uh, like a float platform, yeah, and you have to get on those because immediately that you need to stand in to avoid yeah. the quake. Yeah, because afterwards he does ancient quake. Go. Fun PSA for everyone listening: those are stack markers from back before they had a stack marker. Yeah, I didn't know that until fucking recently. Yeah, if you have only one person in them, you will die. If you have at least two people in them, you should survive. Uh, dial down the game a little. Um, hello. Just a, another Scylla standing around. Oh, this they one's happen. green. It's Queen Scylla. Ah, yes, Queen Scylla. <laughs> That's not how that works, game. White Scylla. Is Queen this of all the dogs. Or just an enemy? Just an enemy. This is just, just an enemy. You'll know She's just tank. All right, strategy, NES Zond. Zond alternates for using powerful magic. You should just kill him as quickly as possible. He would rapidly destroy your party with his attacks if you're not careful. You have six turns. Uh, even experienced party members will die after that. Healing is completely pointless in this battle as the damage that he causes far, far outstrips the best healing spells. I wonder what was in that box back there. Same. Eh. I'll probably see it on the way out. Mm-hmm. But first, we need to purify the... Dark Crystal is Darkness. Versus Arm. It's Arm. What's this dude? What's this dude called in 14? Uh, Devil Mind You. Oh, yeah, Angry Mind You. That's it, right. Amazing. An actual upgrade from Aramon. I there believe are... this gentleman was called Veteran in Final Fantasy IV. Uh, there oh. are there are mobs, well, overworld mobs. Okay. So I'm gonna make a recommendation, and that's you are totally justified in using your shurikens for these. Yeah. I don't get to say this often enough, but uh, game, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I uh, I missed what he did. Meteor. He yeah. meteored down our party no. entirely without warning. 
Yeah, I'm less familiar with the uh, the mini bosses in this dungeon. Uh, there's nothing mini about them, really. <laughs> they are maxi bosses. It's the four fiends <laughs> of the dark world, <laughs> and then a joke round. Four fiends of eye, head, dog. Other. Fiend of Dog is... I'm gonna say the most dangerous one. Yeah. I'm gonna second that. Wait, what? <laughs> You'll see. Does it have Hound out of Hell? If it's got something. Alright, I'm curious. It's got something. <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. Alright, Vinay, I'm gonna give you a hint here. Element of Dog... We mentioned the attack hound out of hell. What the fuck could it be? Oh, my mistake. I'm actually mixing up... Mixing up dog with dragon. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll second that. Yeah, dragon is fucking terrifying. This fight is very weird. Well, thankfully, once you get up a significant amount of saves on one person, you become invincible. With these barriers... But no, Vinay, I want to hear you do the math. You have gotten the hint of dog and the attack hound out of hell. What is the enemy? I mean, I would have assumed Cerberus, but like... Congratulations. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I legitimately don't know what the uh, the fourth one is, though, Roxy. I remember, actually. They were like, in Dawn of Souls. I don't think they use it in 14? I think I know what it is. And I think they use something like it in 14, but different. I'm gonna go on a limb here and say I hate this fight already. Oh, to the world darkness. This fight may also hate you. But yeah, Vinay, there are actually just mobs in the overworld called Aramen that have the same uh, model. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this eventually became just a category of recurring enemy. Yeah, yeah. it's just... This. this particular guy may be uh, the first instance thereof. And I could see how he could be memorable if you yeah. made it through a dungeon and then just get wiped by this jerk. Yes, and, and then he just obliterates you because that's how he do. For what it's worth, if the rest of them are as bad as they seem in my memory, uh, minus the one that I just don't know about, Boone probably made the correct choice of which one to go after first. Definitely a good thing here is to fully safe up one person and then make sure they have full health to survive Meteor. Yeah, Araman is at least alternating between real attacks and joke attacks. Yeah, that is a small mercy. And having Union being able to full heal themselves in response is at least uh, handy. Just gotta hope he doesn't cast a level 150 death. Um... <laughs> Excuse me? It's a really good mechanic in FF14 where it casts level 150 death, and if the combined levels of the people in the AoE is divisible by 150, they all fucking die. That's incredible. Powerful do, mathematics. Yeah, do math real fast. Just mod 3, right? Thank you. Uh -huh. I, uh... So, I, I gotta say, the uh, thought occurs to me, which is that I wonder if having one of our ninjas assigned two crystal shields and just chain throwing Phoenix downs might be the way to go here. We would I mean, run out of beverages. Crystal 
dual wielding shields can be a thing you do on a turn by turn basis. That's true. Well, it's interesting that Ariman uses Quake. Still, at least we're punching through some damage here. It's okay. This is what our many, many elixirs are for. It's yes. true. We're in no danger of running out of life, too. If each fiend costs me two elixirs, then I have many additional elixirs past yeah. that. <laughs> we still have enough elixir. Uh, chat is... is asking, how do you figure out that mechanic in 14 fast enough to not die? Uh, so you'll note that everybody could just leave the zone. Except for the person that's, that's t tied down and you'd survive. That just is dodge the general the move. Yeah, that's the general way of doing it. There's another one that's level 100 death. Just all the level X deaths, huh? Yeah. Just have five people in each spot. There you go. Done. Solve his deadly arithmetic riddle. And I walks up to you, referring to himself as the Math Magician. Just turn around and walk away. Not worth your time. <laughs> okay. Stabilization has happened. Yep. Yeah. Enough safe has been layered that uh, we can keep pace here. With these bear. Thanks, Aram. I really appreciate that they, uh, this thing keeps using Cure 2. Not Cure 3, Cure 2. Yep. It does seem like its whole gimmick is turn lottery. It either yeah. destroys you or does nothing. Yeah. Odd number turns, it's either Meteor or Quake. Even number turns, it's, eh, let's see what happens. It's a, it's a joke action. Unleash the power of Flare. Or Meteor, I guess? Show him you know how to play as well. So what I'm hearing is... Armon is literally spin the wheel. Kind of. It's, ball. it's deterministic spin the wheel, though. One down. Armon has fallen. Thank Christ. Yeah, that only took like three quarters of my top level spell charges. That's fine. You you mm -hmm. call that one elixir spent on this fight? Yeah. Across two wizards. Because you don't yeah. even need to use the elixir right now. You can wait till you get close to the next fight and then use it. Do yep. you have a second copy of Cure Three kicking around on one of your ninjas? Yes. Hmm. It might get substituted in. Yeah, I was going to say, it, it may be useful to, to have that. Oh, hello. Become the warrior of darkness. The Look, flood dude. of darkness. He's already here. It's him. We don't need to be him. I didn't know we were visiting the void. The fort Warrior of Darkness, one of four. All right, let's find a broken side of the wall to walk through, I guess. I don't know. I'm just going to let you know at this point, it's definitely worth getting all of those treasure chests. And the way that you get that is from the top left. It's top left, the top right of the... The top right of the big central area. Yeah, that makes sense. Also, I was... Every one of these areas has fun shortcuts. Oh, so there's some certain holes in the wall you can walk through? Mm -hmm. Of course it does. 
in this case, it's the ones directly above and below the one you're facing right now, which is directly above and below the one you'd bump into looking for them. So, like, up here? Uh, no, left. Oh, so one space left and then up and down one and then being yeah. able to walk through? Okay. And then once you go through, up and to the right. This thing really likes you. Yeah, all the wizards in this game really are very punchy. Which is just a callback to one, of course. You get that ca cat claw on your wizard, and you say, have at it. You're gonna kill stuff. Even the knife. The heirs to Big Ham. Sons of Ham. Surprisingly, the enemies in here don't seem to give as much experience as I was expecting. It's a little bit lower. I, I guess. Also, do make sure you're in good health before you open that chest. No reason. What? No reason at all. Hey, Lynn, I forgot to ask. What is your, uh... Get, we can guess you're not using any save states. Not yet. Alright. We may want to consider starting. <laughs> nope. Nope. Yeah. I believe. This is how Loon do. I believe one of the goals, I don't think he's used them at all since. This is the experience. This is the experience. <laughs> Second sense. <laughs> oh. Okay. I need to come back in a second. Oh, well. <laughs> wow. Yes. And uh, I was gonna say, this might actually be a good place for your ninjas to start chucking elixirs. His magic was so powerful, he obliterated Krum. <laughs> Whew, okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. <sighs> You all right? That was just such a dick move. With this barrier. Right. Important secondary use of elixirs. Combat full heals. Yes. Actually very important. So I, I just have to ask the question because of course it's, it has to be this stupid. Um, does it always get a back attack? I don't think so, no. But it's very high level, so. I see the move Loon is doing, and I'm not sure I like it. I like it. <laughs> to follow I up think up, it was quite a good idea. To bring up to another question. Yes, this guy's in 14. Why wouldn't he be? When you're doing World of Darkness, there's just a treasure chest after one of the encounters, and if you open it, you know, it's on day. <laughs> <laughs> that... If if it weren't explicitly a reference to this, that would be the most incredibly fantastic dick move. Uh, I don't think you, they let you progress until you open the chest, though. No, no, so. no, oh, I guess that's fine. Yeah. 
That's all right. I, no, okay, specifically what it is, is you walk into an arena, and there is Queen Skilla. Mm -hmm. And when when you kill her, she drops the treasure chest, and when you open it, out pops Clone Zonde. That's actually really good. Surprise! The real boss was in here all along. Just, just stacking up, uh, Medio. I'm glad that we're demonstrating the power of the safe spell. All you need is barriers. With some barriers. Is it just Bobbit, a get bone? in here! I actually think probably the most safe and consistent strategy for the final dungeon would just be four sages. Yeah. Yeah, because it lets you chain cast the most cure four. And or Bahamut. Good, reliable Bahamut. Friend to party, Bahamut. Friend of the children, please. Mm -hmm. Did you run out of juice? No. Why would he? No. Zonde has more juice than his body has room for. You just need to peep one more time. Just had to check. He wanted to know if you were ready. You cast how many save spells? Shit. Zonde wouldn't want to be. He wouldn't want to be accused of unsportsmanlike conduct. How many barriers are these kids on? So, this is just a random fight. This thing could just cast safe like a dozen times. Or not safe, Libra a dozen times, and not actually cast Medio. It's every other like before, but this time it starts with Medio, I think. Ah. Well, you got unless a ribbon I'm, out of the deal, so... Unless I'm mistaken. It certainly seemed that way. Now we are unbreakable. Yeah, so every area has a chest with a clone and a ribbon in it. And I will leave it up to you how much you value additional ribbons. Do we have one in both sages now? Yes. yes. Hmm. Potentially not a lot. I have use for two more ribbons. What about four ribbons? Four it's, ribbon armor. You managed to get your drink and are refilled. The question would just be refilling Dunyan. Probably you can refill as soon as you get to the next uh, big fight. You don't need to do it immediately. Alright, I'll admit, the music track for this area is awesome, but it seems extremely unlikely that you'll ever get to hear it loop. Without, you know, sitting and letting him play, I guess. That is one of the few good features that have come from the ports of 7 through 9, is them realizing, hey, we should make the background music not reset after every single encounter. Though it had, they had to patch it in because people had to complain at them about it. Of course. And that's player feedback. For a, you know, 20 plus year old game. I don't think it's 20 plus, but you know what I mean. Mm, Final Fantasy 7 is 20 plus, yeah. Well, okay, but Final Fantasy 7 they just remade rather than putting out yet another port of it. Uh, the May port... I read the strategy for fighting uh, Clone Zon? By all means. Go for it, oh, Grom. No. I love RPG strategy guides from the internet. I mean, in bad. fairness, the Zonde one was just race him, which is not awful. For the most part, he wastes turns casting Libra. However, he is capable of using Flare, Quake, and Meteor. Dispatch him quickly is a must. 
Bio and Quake can deal high damage. In the NES version, Sande's clone is vulnerable to several instant death and status spells, including Warp, Mini, and Shade. Interesting. He is immune to the Code and Confuse spells, however. Tiny Are you kidding me? I mean, Shade is very reliable, so, uh, yeah. hey, how about those ribbons? How about free ribbon? Forever. Yes! Unleash the Paralyzer! It's time to just instant death. What about death circles? We tried destroying the enemy. Here's oh, both Jormungandr. Oh, yes. Jormungand, just hanging out. Two of I them. thought you were the ocean. <laughs> you must mean his cousin. Or their cousins, excuse me. Mormongander. Mormongander. Luffy, <laughs> no. What? What? Is there a problem? No, it's fine. Never mind. Okay, but can we stop to appreciate Jormungandr's incredibly tiny T-Rex arms? Rawr. I didn't notice those. those Neither are... did I. I just looked at the sprite and saw it now. He has such a goofy grin on his face. Rawr. That is an extremely common element to me enemies in this game. Like, Jormungandr... German Gun just looks happy to be here. I get to be in the game, guys! <laughs> oh, come on! German Gunder uses those tiny arms to very carefully pry open shellfish. They don't Excuse. move. The most dangerous enemy. Excuse me. You've got a genius <laughs> here. Yep. Genuinely dangerous. I was about to ask, is there any enemy in the game that knows safe? Oh, shit. Yes! Yes, they do! You must destroy them before they become invincible. Fortunately, ninjas are more than capable of this. Uh, from the chat, the spell power of various spells. Holy is 160. Thank you, Lightly, for this, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, Flare is 200. Medio is 180, but it's AoE. And Bahamas just 255. Check so, Bahama, finally the strongest thing ever. Bahama, that good FF number. All right, now that we've gotten the team back to neutral position, stepping away for a moment. Then, All more right. darkness. Soon. Uh, how are y'all doing tonight? Uh, I am fighting Garms. Neat. I fell asleep, and it was pretty alright. I'm um, grinding the restoration. Forever. Oh yeah, did that drop today? Mm, well, I need to log in and remember to do the rising... I, I legitimately have not logged in, like... I, I, I logged in, did the new content, and then d d did not log in because I've fallen deep into the Destiny hole. Dragged me in with you. Hey. I didn't even have to say anything. It's a lot of fun. It's a good game. All Actually, right. I'll be right back. I need to go take, like, a Des shower or something. I pulled a muscle in my back, and I need to get some hot water on it. Hey, uh, hey, Roxy, Destiny has, He's like, lying. Destiny has, like, 30 unique relic quests. Oh, good. Uh, legit, you only have to do each one once. But, yeah, uh, the way that they do, uh, special guns, which they call exotics, is, it's, it's more or less a relic quest. But then once you have it, that's it. You, you, you always have that gun. Yeah, I've heard it's fairly nice. I watch a lot of uh, my girlfriend playing Destiny over her shoulder, and that's about enough engagement for me. I'm good. I will also say that the raids are like nothing like I think any MMO can really pull off because of the medium that it's in. I did see one a while ago, and it was like 
it was like you you beat an ad to unlock the ability to play basketball. Yes. Why? Yeah, Why? yeah. No, that's accurate. Uh, that's uh, Spire of the Stars, I want to say. Um, you don't have to kill the ad. It's just pumping out the ball constantly. And the, so the point is you are in a large arena. And in this large arena, there's four pillars that slowly go up. The whole time you're doing this encounter, ads are coming out. Uh, four people are designated to each pillar and they stand by it. You need to be holding the basketball in order to be able to stand on the pillar. And when you're standing on the pillar, the pillar goes up. If the pillars go down, you get put on a death timer, which if you don't start raising the pillar in that amount of time, you all die. Uh, so the whole thing is you rotate the ball around, and once you have raised the pillars enough, like, just made them go up for enough time, uh, the thing in the center opens up, and you have to throw the basketball into the net. Welcome back. You! You're the ringleader! Yes! Just two leaders. Yeah. Uh, but no, uh, Roxy, the one that I did recently that I was like, this is awesome and also wouldn't work in anything else other than like a first person shooter is imagine a raid arena the size of like a small town in FF14. I'm imagining this. Um... And there are objectives all around the town. And at the center of the town, there's a map. And one person has to stay in the center and direct the rest of the raid party uh, around. Sorry, real quick. There are ways through just like to the right of where you are. You've already passed one. And the wall right after it through hidden stuff. And then the chest is just in the upper right corner of the room. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's mostly it actually on that description. It's just like it's a really fucking large arena, and somebody has to stand at a map and direct the rest of the raid group around. That sounds neat. I'm yeah. just happy to be back to finishing Alexander with the very simple, humble mechanic of watching yourself die in the future. I think Angry Mime, you just hit a bunch of us with level 150 death accidentally. Oh, yeah. And I'm tired. I shouldn't have been able, shouldn't have been hit by that. That sucked. The very easy mechanic that is very easy to also fuck up completely. How do you can't counter level 150 death? Just don't be in the circle. Or count.
I mean, in FF14, every world is just a star in the sky, so... There can be lots of world serpents. Many worlds have snakes. But also... The actual world serpent is living in our brain. Or like, at least the ghost... There he are. is! Inside you are two dragons. What if it- what if there were two of them? He punch. Welcome you fall. To, welcome to big number. Oh, big. Welcome to the gimmick of, uh, to a dragon. <laughs> there- <laughs> There's numbers. There's two of them. You sounded, you sounded so amused by that, Roxy. <laughs> I just, I've known it was coming for a while. That's fair, and like, if I had known that, I also would have been excited to see it. Fortunately, there's a very easy strategy for this, which is just... Bank alive. And then health is kind of immaterial. Yeah, it's Shinryu. It's easier than Shinryu. People just survive being punched from the back row. Also, man, why is the two-headed dragon fight in World of Darkness in 14 so unmemorable? Because it's a trash mob. It's two dragons. Yeah. yeah. Because they made the five-headed dragon. That's yeah, true. I know. Uh, I that I do know about. I find that pretty memorable because no one ever takes the marker away like they're supposed to. Oh, hey, speaking of Jomagand, uh, <laughs> yeah, in the in the Queen Scylla slash uh, Zonde clone fight, Jomagand. I, they summon Thors and Jormungandirs, right? Yeah. Yes. Still have the arms? They still have the little arms? They do. Just two of them. One HP? Yeah, I'll just get punched for 3,000. Hit normal I just shot the 7700 damage attack. Damage, yes. Consecutive normal punches. Correct. <laughs> Alright, now I've created a problem. How many down you got? Down. How many fox down do you have? Where's your fox alive? God damn it, Nubi. It's fine. Now, oh. <laughs> no, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Stability is the professionals issue. here. Everything is syncing up very nicely. Killing the two-headed dragon while I'm fighting the five-headed dragon. Perfect. Okay, it is now time to finally give an elixir to uh, Union. Let's empty out the library here. Or, 
I can just keep going for a while, actually. It's fine. I am I am just gonna post the remaining secret passage maps because I would struggle to describe either of these, I think. By the skin of your onion. That sounds like a joke they would make in, like, Brave the Default. Agreed. That was like a joke they would make in FF14. That too. I mean, nothing is sacred in the English translation of FF14. So wait, what does... What exactly does doing each crystal do? It lowers the Cloud of Darkness's max health, and the final one makes it so they don't have completely maxed out evasion. Oh, if I wanted to go to the, uh... The ribbon, I should be on that lower track of this room. Mm -hmm. Imagine failing to cast Barrier. It's supposedly optional because if you don't do all four, you it's very much still impossible. Did I miss one? Uh, two-headed dragon? Yes. Aww. You see there you are two dragons. You miss bite and bite again, and bite again, and again, and it again. And one move, which was attack for, like, 9,000 to the front row. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. It had the very smart move for the 29-hit normal attack. Just throw good normals. I mean, that that's Monk's entire gimmick, right? Hey there, everyone. It's me, Dragon from Streets. God, I don't know why that video is so funny. Because it's great! I was doing, um, which I gotta I got get back to doing those because I haven't done one in a while, but uh, when I was doing the Record Keeper story mode stuff and they were doing FF1, I frequently referred to him as Warrior from Fantasy. Last minute rematch. Oh, you cracked the 4,000 HP barrier.
we're still scraping up a few levels. Well, that was a divisible of 16 levels, so it's actually a pretty big one for Onion. Forty-eight is the last big level, huh? And it's here. Oh! Hi. It keeps happening. So... Shade. Hopefully. Time to, yeah, see if that trick was worth the price we paid. I could look it up and verify. I found it on the wiki. So... I, I want to believe that it's going to work. On Wikipedia, the free... The free dictionary. Shadow bind. Well, I'll be damned. Just use status effects. If you mini him, does he actually become small? Prove that he's tiny. Bend. What? small <laughs> get out goodbye i am so glad i found that <laughs> throw out this feather head make room for this other feather well not another feather hatch uh crystal helms i guess yeah crystal helms are getting ditched here Your defense went down by three. It is devastating. Unforgivable. Somewhere out there in the world is a tiny replica Zand. Well, I got a skedaddle. Good luck with the end. See you. Bye, Chrome. Later. As it is the end game, everyone gets a lot of HP now. It's the future. Actually, wait, hold on. What's the level cap in this? 99. Alright. But you'll never reach it. Uh, that sounds like a challenge. I mean, that... you certainly could, but 
in a natural playthrough. Even if you're grinding fairly heavily, you wouldn't go very far above, like, 60. Yeah, we weren't getting about the final dungeon alone containing about a third of all the game's combat. Ah, so now it's this one. So I wonder how long this would take to do without a guide. Not so much longer that it becomes a problem, but it would drag a bit. Like the other two paths there, one of them immediately loops back into the other. We are skipping a good deal of fights and by that same logic some levels by just not walking into dead ends over and over. That is a gag that was also employed extensively in the, uh, the Cave of Darkness. In its rooms with too many paths. Someone just walked up to me, shoved a fish in my hand. The fish's name was Wahoo. Correct. Congratulations.
I feel Jormagad is probably close to Wahoo. Every Wahoo grows up to be a Jormungandr. That's why we have so many. Just making our way up to a million gil. It's fine. This would be a lot more threatening without knowing the secret sauce, which we do. Everyone has an answer to this situation now. Uh, warp was on the list of kills that work on him, was it? Well, I guess you will throw shade. Be gone. <laughs> to space! Well, that's another boss in the rift now. Problems for later. And that's Quad Ribbon. That should help a lot against the beam. And other pre-beam forms of combat. People were talking about the many times that Thor was pranked in Norse mythology because there's a lot. And I am immediately reminded of there is, in one of the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies, um, in which the actor who plays Thor tells the story of one time that Yoki, Loki pranked him. Um, and in the background, you can see the actor for Loki laughing at the story. Uh, and this is because the entire story was ad-libbed and it actually caught the actor for Loki completely off guard. Now it is I who have been praised. <laughs> the fiend of cartography. It is the entire other path that actually leads to the thing. You fool. Which Thor movie was that? I, I literally have no idea. I've only seen the clip. I think that was Ragnarok, which... That sounds about right. Ragnarok was apparently very good. One of the, like, two Marvel movies that I'll still recommend to people. What's the other one? 
I like Guardians too. Mm. I still I still like Black Panther. Does Into the Spider Verse no, count? I mean, it's not Marvel Cinematic Universe, but it is good. It's also made by Sony, so. Spider-Verse is a wonderful movie, and Black Panther's fair, yeah. Honestly, the scene of describing transforming into the snake is so good that I knew what you were going to be talking about before you even brought up the Marvel movies. It's really good. I'm just realizing the cinematic universe and people just ha telling you, yeah, you just got to watch this one is very reminiscent of hey, you know, I really liked this, ep this you know, comic from this series, but the rest of it is awful. It's like they've managed to replicate the experience of being a comics fan. Alright. The Fiend wind. of Wind. Wind Dank Crystal. Dog. Dog. Dog, 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 dog. Dog, fight. It looks so small. Tiny yelling dog. Yeah, remember your ABCs. Two of the heads aren't even paying attention to us. Legendary dog Garuda. Was that just Thunder 1? Thunder, the enemy ability, not Bolt. It's Garuda. <laughs> I might be wrong, and Floating Eye might have been the most dangerous boss. Yeah, Cerberus seems a bit underwhelming. It's weird that they just put Garuda in World of Darkness. The Flood. 
I love Halo. The old sneaky German. Hey, did you forget about me? I do very much wish that the enemies in each area were different. Well... Oh, that's... That's a glitch on my viewer. Okay. Getting some very interesting enemy looks right now. Nice. <laughs> the enemies on the side view briefly became missing no. I've come here at the correct level. Mm -hmm. It's so here's the thing. I was probably the hardest because you went to I first. It's that that whole there's four paths. You pick the first one. The first one will always be the hardest. Mm -hmm. Except also like there was no way Cerberus was going to be dangerous to anyone. Probably. Two head, maybe. Two head, maybe. If you went to two head first, legitimately, probably would have been way more dangerous because your people were barely surviving. Yeah, having you someone were... occasionally survive a bite from two head meant a lot in that fight. The way that fight does spiral out of control is if the person you assign to revive dies before they get it off. Mm -hmm. Which I believe is what happened to Loon on one turn. It is subtly different from fighting Berserker Shinryu because you have turns instead of the time bar. So you need to each step of the way place your bets as to whether your revive will get through. Also because turns in three are nonsensical. Yes. Also, no elven mantle in main ghost. All of the other ways you could just make an attack not happen as a joke. Yeah, not as many evade boosters or parrying tools. Also, the way this is structured does helpfully give you information up front about how hard Cloud of Darkness hits. So you have that barometer for what you need to be able to do when you fight Cloud for real. I forget, how many Cure 3s do you have? Enough. I have a... I have enough. I have a lot. No, I have a like second, not... I have a second copy of the spell that I can pass over onto uh, and yeah. yeah, that's what I was asking. 
mind myself then, it is... Well, no, that's my extra black magic. Fifth level spell. So what would I be giving up for that? Titan or spare life or spare save. Is the thing. That's why it's not on there right now. leading up right until now. And now is probably when I maybe really needed that variety. Yes. Although, given that apparently this pushes every boundary for what can be reasonably implemented on the NES, it's possible that there's genuinely no space left for more encounter tables in here. That wouldn't surprise me. So do Garma and Cerberus share the same sprite? Yes. Cerberus cool. doesn't even get to be a unique asset. That's a little bit undignified. <laughs> yeah. I guess neither did Titan. How many bosses actually have a unique sprite? Uh, definitely Armin, I think. Garuda. Two-headed dragon. Did we ever get a recall our adamantoids? Yes. I see. It was either that or adamantoids gets demoted to regular enemy, which I would say that counts. Yeah, that's fair. There was a Medusa recolor. Was there a Zandi recolor? Or not yes. not Zandi, um Amon. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amon, yes, there was, right. Amon was the recolor. Hind is the original. Right. Alright, now for the one that I'm unaware of. Maybe? You know it. Do I? It's a kidna. Oh! Mother right. of all monsters. It's yes. the dangler. She's, just, she's in 14, just not in... Just not in Crystal this. Tower. Yeah. I will reiterate, now is a totally reasonable time to blow your shurikens. Have so, them. though she isn't in the Crystal Tower stuff, as we stated, Kidna is in 14. I had a conversation with a friend once, uh, commenting about the model for Kidna in 14, and saying, it's really weird that they made this monster, and 
she has an ass that's just completely out there. I'm like, alright, but have you seen the original sprite? That's just Echidna. That's it's just Echidna. Gosh, that was a weak quake, though. Oh, pretty funny. I just finished the Crystal Tower, and now I just hit the Anti-Tower. More fitting rolls today. Up the down staircase. Mm hmm I think we were about ready to push through here. We might be fine right now. Man is level 98, while Echidna is 89. So it seems like Echidna gives up some of that raw strength for not doing stuff every other turn. Meteor is still dangerous, though. Meteor is still real. time after you backtrack I can definitely envision a world where someone went out and fought all four fiends but forgot to touch the crystals They receive perhaps the truest end game of all. And we don't need that ribbon. So we're just on our way to clouds. Three's way shorter than two. Yes, remarkably. Two is pretty long. It's just weirdly not memorable, so it always feels shorter in retrospect. I think yeah, it's was... concise in a way. There's not a lot was... of. Uh, go ahead. No, no, no. You, you were going first, by all means. I was just gonna say three also just solved like quick game flow in with an NES layout. Yeah. Yeah. The Quite X Factor. They optimize the layout a lot. Everything takes less time to resolve in three. Yes. 
Yeah, that's the big thing, is that, like, combat in 2, like, just for the same amount of combat, took way longer. Even though it is still, like, relatively slow, menu-driven combat, 3 just feels so much snappier than 2 does. It's been a long time since I've messed with 2 personally, but I remember it also not having the most, like, a variety of music and sound design. Yes. Yeah. Which probably makes it drag. Alright, so, to prepare for my Alpha Strike... Discard these golem staves. Yeah, that leaves me four spaces in the inventory. Now is the time for shuriken. It's time to get good at darts. It's time for fish darts. Do you have God's Wine in your inventory? Berserk. Yes. Okay. You may want to have your ninjas open up with that. Crack open a cold one. Yep. I saw something in chat about. Probably oh, hello. Dragon. Oh, I, I guess. I guess it's he doesn't Billy have the Jimmy. dignity of not having a recolor. Hi, Bimmy. I saw something in chat about haste being dispelled when you change weapons. I don't know how that works exactly, but... That seemed like it was happening with the uh, yeah. tagging in the shurikens. So you may want to be careful about attacking on your ninjas at the moment. That's also another Hello, good Bimmy. reason to use up shurikens early. It's really because once you set up on the final boss, you're good. Okay, two-headed dragon demoted from unique sprite. Mm-hmm. So I guess only Aramon is uh, unique then. Uh, we don't know that yet. Garuda. That's true. I Unless don't think we've seen a Garuda. Recolored re echidna in here as well. Who knows? True. Just unleash Bahamut. There's something very liberating about just feeling free to bust out your largest spells. What if two times dragon times two? Oh, this is an actual room. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. All right. Real weapons it is, then. Would you like the map, or just feel it out? How complicated could it be? I'm sure it's fine.
Petrifiable, you say? To shreds, you say? The final fake out. Catch the rest on the vault, I'm afraid. I'll talk to you later. Good night. Uh, this really is a bit of a victory lap at this point. We have everything we need. It is a bit of an insult how much skill they dropped now that it's quite impossible to use it anywhere. I don't even believe you can warp out. Now if they had hidden a post-final shopkeeper somewhere in the abyss... That'd be... that'd be good. Especially if they were just like, 100k for an elixir. Do you need more shuriken? That was the time to become real. Now I am good at darts. Oh, the music. <sighs> yeah, they've got all the mana they need. I am, uh, Just very glad. That 14 work this into the Cloud of Darkness's boss theme. Well, yeah, I mean, it's very good. <laughs> yeah. I am a cloud! The light needs to turn into the void. The first shall become the 14th. Is it the 13th that's the void? Yes. Oh, right, because there's 13 yeah. echoes and the source is the 14th. It is 13 plus 1.
gonna stand up and bend like a moment. Something about reaching the final boss after two and a half hour of unsaved dungeoning is perhaps intangibly stressful. That's fair, I'm gonna say. This music is probably also about as much as you can ramp up tension on the NES, don't you? I can see that as well, yeah. Okay, vibrating internally. Here we go. It's Cloud. Would you like some advice? Feel free. The absolute safest thing you can do is to double up safe on one of your casters. Maybe even triple up if you got a turtle shell left. Once you have one of your casters sufficiently saved, the battle is over. Time for Beam. Darkness take you all. Beam is capable. And now the triumphant return of shields. Maybe the hope, who knows?
also not a terrible idea to just chuck Elixir's as heals here. I have three safes on Onion now. Also, I am about to Elixir Onion, so none of that damage happened. Oh, as long as the boss does- oh, okay. I thought you meant on the next turn. You have seen everything the boss that is going to do. As long as the boss doesn't, like, take two turns around, then yeah, everything is fine. Uh, that would be ridiculous. Why would they make the game like that? That would be unbelievably rude. That would be something that, you know, only a jerk would think of. <laughs> yes, get the weapons out, drink the god wine. It's probably a good thing they didn't design. All right, you didn't throw me. yet. You throw. Of course, this means I'm condemning on you to death for now. Haste persists across deaths. It's fine. Araman prepares you for this. If you survive Araman, then you have all of the skills that you need to fight Cloud of Darkness. Just use the skills he taught you. Frankly, since. By the time you hit Cloud of Darkness, you'll be a much higher level. Armin is really more difficult of a fight. Interesting. And Union appears to be one safe away from complete invincibility. Barriers. Yeah, if you take away one thing from this playthrough, it's uh, use your defensive spell. Please use your defensive spell. your barriers. Walk around and marvel at the gift of not dying. In fairness to the many people who lose this fight, I don't think it's common knowledge that safe was just not designed Stack a bull well. shell. Yeah, that'll, uh, that'll change a lot. Infinite power. Imagine, you can just put a bunch of bubbles around yourself. That being said, even one cast of safe, really quite good.
The fight is now under control. I have always found it very satisfying to see Flare Wave reduced to one. I mean, if Flare Wave is reduced to one, this is now the, the time for dual wielding. It's true. I have more weapons. Alright, the shields were helping a lot. Yeah, it seems as though uh, Flare Wave is an 80 power that rolls a lot, whereas Meteo is a 180 power that rolls less. So that's why Meteo is breaking through your defenses a lot more, and why you can just reduce this to nothing. Just make sure that was aimed at the right person. It's somewhere between that or changing equipment might have cleared my buffs. If it takes away haste, it probably also takes away defend. Well, I feel bad for recommending it now. I mean, it's fine though. It's the fine. wizards are invincible. Just need to build Once new barriers. One invincible wizard. It's really quite hard to lose. I am just reminded of four white mages. It'll never work. Works just fine. I do really like the pallet cycling effect for casting Flare Wave. Yeah, the animation on Flare Wave is real nice. first game we said well how can you defeat the embodiment of chaos itself and now the embodiment of darkness what did the emperor really embody imperialism yeah he's just rude he doesn't embody anything the second game is not a celestial clash between light and darkness it's just an asshole there's no light warriors in two just the team. Just Yug. Two is just Star Wars. But I thought 12 was just Star Wars. No. Many things are Star Wars. No, hold up. Let me get the list. Look at this, though. Speaking of this being a predecessor to FF5. Can we, we can go to a star feel? It's a... It's a ballad. <laughs> Of legend. Their power is the hope of the people.
that place. Trust only Zervan. All right, here we go. Uh, FF2 is Star Wars, where the Emperor dies and then comes back as the devil and then dies again and comes back as God and then gets killed by Obi-Wan. <laughs> that That's two. Good. <laughs> Whereas 12 is Star Wars, but half the bad guys are, aren't actually that bad, except Judge Bergen. That guy's a dick. <laughs> you did it! Right. I do actually have to press buttons to advance this text. You do. One less palette cycle for Dash. One last rep. Can we arrange for one last airship crash? <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to deliver Sid back home. Oh no! Who lets Sid drive? It's not like Best couldn't have been read, everyone else is. Why did we switch airships, though? <laughs> Sid, what did you do? Also, the camera did a bit of a trick there. Was that another palette change for Dash just now? I think this is the same blue. Dash, why did you? Why does? Why did they let you have two color changes? No skin. As if we could all go back to that oldest of cities. We did it! Wait, Got sir. There. Who showed up during the, the the demon dragon segment again? Uh, the Dash. princess, Sid, Dash, the the baby prince from the surface, and the leader of the old men. Oh, the, the other warrior. 
backup warrior replied. <laughs> I love the old men who think that they're the warriors of light. Might be one of my favorite bits. And so they did. Speaking of really pushing the, the hardware. Oh, and we end on like a review of your your team huh, and their final huh. builds. They got to keep the submarine. We don't know what happened to the invincible though. Where where is it? Why didn't they take it back up here? It's too big. So much like I rammed it up yeah. here before though. <laughs> it can handle it. I haven't been addressing it this much but um it's interesting to see again we are seeing these parallels between me playing fire emblem one and Lou playing Final fantasy two of oh these are the games that are terrible and here's all the reasons and actually no they're they're kind of fine they have some nes jank for one reason or another but they're fine uh, another weird parallel occurring, which is you playing FF3 and seeing how many things FF5 took from 3. Mm -hmm. And me playing Gaiden and seeing how many things Fire Emblem 8 took from Gaiden. Like, wholesale. Yeah, even... Even the odd ducks in these franchises still invent a lot that stays in. Everyone has now witnessed the four old men. In all their splendor. The old of light. Borga Une. Hey, Nasir. How hey, you doing? Thank you, Nasir. Thank you, Yoshitaka Amano. Beautiful, beautiful man. In a lot of ways, this really was a lot of these people at their very most, huh? Mm-hmm. Unatsu, Tarada, Tanaka. Just really going all out before walking away from this platform. This is what peak performance looks like. Bard is a tank. Geomancer is. Dragoon was there. Yeah, Dragoon was also Dragoon there. Dragoon won exactly one fight. Evoker's not bad. Summoner Junior was valuable. Magic Knight really did some work, as I recall. Magic Knight was on the team for a good portion of the game. Catman and Warlock had their chance. They performed. They were there to deliver us to Sage. Nico Mancer. Yeah, Catmancer. Then. Um, 
Oh, oh, with with the wow. star field. Wow. How many things five took from this game? End. But uh, at least 